Hey, what's up, everybody? So, it's been a while since I made a video. Wanted to hop on, say what's up, talk about a couple of things. So, tried to watch Obi Wan last night on Disney Plus. Not even 10, 15 minutes in. Screeches to a halt. Not loading at all. I get a text message from the carrier. You've used up your maximum hotspot. We're slowing you down to 128 kilobytes a second. 128 kilobytes a second. You can't do nothing with that. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> so, this got me thinking. So, for some of you who know me and those of you who don't, I used to be an IT systems engineer. So, I've been working in the tech industry for a long time before I decided to be a trucker. So I have a lot of IT experience. I understand technology and how it works. I have a degree, I have a couple of certifications. So I know a lot about it. We're in 2022 and pretty much our life revolves around the internet. And for some reason, there still seems to be no way to unlimitedly access the internet when you are not in a physical building at high speeds. I don't understand that. It doesn't really make any sense to me as to why it is currently like that. I used to think that satellite providers were providing internet for truckers, RV, uh, RV individuals, you know, for people who lived in campers and stuff like that. Turns out that is not the case satellite providers only are providing access to watching TV. But here's the funny thing about that. Those TV channels go through the internet. <laughs> it, it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> so you use the internet to provide, to, to provide the TV channels, but you don't use the internet to provide access to normal internet. Now, there are other ways that I can circumvent the process but it's going to require me spending a bunch of money so I'd end up having to get an unlocked Netgear Nighthawk and then get another cell phone plan with unlimited high speed data put that in there then I got to have an ethernet cable to connect that directly to my laptop or to a wireless uh to a wireless router to broadcast wireless to other devices and supposedly with changing a couple of settings that is supposed to mask the fact that I am utilizing other devices on the mobile network and it's supposed to reflect as just the mobile device utilizing a lot of data I don't know how well that works I mean I've seen a bunch of videos on YouTube where a lot of people are doing stuff like that for gaming and they have it connected to like their Xbox but I just blew through 40 gigs in a matter of like a week. So I don't know how that's running, uh, how that's working for people who are playing, you know, NBA whatever K on PlayStation 5 or, you know, Call of Duty on like the Xbox and all that. So I'm not too certain. I got to do a little bit more research to figure out what my options here because this is not cool. This is honestly not cool. They really need to bring back the net neutrality bill because it doesn't make any sense. It really honestly doesn't. And I know what it really is. It's just a way for large companies, large carriers to just continuously make more money because if they allot you a certain amount of gigs and you still need to continue to use it, you have to, of course, give them more money to say, hey, I need another 40 gigs. Hey, I need another 40 gigs and they'll probably charge you like another hundred dollars. So in the end, you're spending like four or $500 just to get some high speed internet on multiple devices while you're in a truck or in an RV. And honestly, it's not right considering the circumstances. Um, so if I do figure out some sort of workaround, I'll let you all know what that is and I'll get that posted and show you how I set myself up. But I tried a couple of different things. You know, I'd hooked up my laptop to the phone and uh, I opened up Android Development Studio, ran a couple segments of code to try and mask the IP packets. But even though I had it set to mask the packets, it's still somehow the carrier. And 
they're probably doing deep packet scanning and stuff like that to where they can somewhat see the internal address and simple fact is it's not the mobile device and since it's not the mobile device they're just flagging it as being hotspot and I was tethering my internet from my phone to the laptop so yeah if you all have any ideas that work for you uh, keep in mind you know I'm doing a lot of streaming in HD so like I'm running like HBO Max Disney Plus that sort of stuff Amazon Prime um, yeah if you all do a lot of streaming please let me know how that works for you um, what what methods you're using and what what devices you're also using as well if you did any sort of configuration changes let me know what that was and then uh, I'll start looking into it for myself to see if it'll work for me because I've always been a high data user always have like I eat a lot of data on the phone alone so to then add the laptop and then the TV on top of it yeah I blow through data like it's nothing that's why I used to have gigabit uh, Ethernet I'm sorry uh, yeah, I used to have gigabit internet um, back when I was living in an apartment because I was running VR, all my devices was connected to the internet on top of it. I also would run virtual servers and virtual PCs for doing my own little techie tech tech stuff on the side. So, yeah, anyways, just a thought. I'll catch up with y'all later. Peace.